It's Hill TV. I got my main man with me. Got some good shots watching him train, Jace Jordan. What's going on, brother? How you doing, man? Long time no see, man. It's been a lot going on since the last time we talked. I know, man. We had to, you know, had to, had to build these empires, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. To that goal. Absolutely. Yeah, Keep definitely. Busy. Ain't nobody been slacking. Right, right, right. Definitely pounding the online, the physical. You've been out here being very active. Oh, yeah, man. Since the Why We Do It video, so um, fill the um, viewers in on what you got coming up and what you've been working on. Uh, so right now, man, we're about uh, five days out from fighting down in uh, South Carolina, Sumter, South Carolina. Cool. Uh, and uh, coming up in May on the 14th, the Dorton Arena has been booked for kickboxing for the first time in North Carolina in years, years. And it's going to be a huge event. I plan on competing in that. Great. And uh, following that up with a, uh, a music video. Hopefully, why not? Huh? I said, why not? Yeah. Great. Uh, try to incorporate some of the fight footage and cool. Um, songs I release from you know here on out need to be completely up to par. You know what I mean? I mean, right. like video, full production. You know, it's no more messing around. I'm trying to be a multimedia uh, artist. Right. In different outlets and touch as many people as I can. You know what I mean? No doubt. No doubt. Definitely, um, you definitely hitting them all phases, man. You definitely putting the the health in Hill TV right now. <laughs> just finished with a capital H just now, getting seeing you get your workout on in your drill. So you're definitely doing your thing out here as far as the fighting, um, the spoken word, the emceeing. So um, I definitely salute you on all your efforts, bro. Thank and you, I wish man. you nothing but success from Hill TV. Same thing, dude. I just love watching you grow, man. I see the stuff going up on Facebook, the conversations. They're all real personal, man. And yeah, some of them a little controversy, but, you know, everybody yeah, ain't going to be what? comfortable with it. You know what I mean? You know what? Everybody's entitled to their opinion. Bro. Right, and right, right. The sooner we learn to have our own opinions and still be able to have relationships with each other. Right the better we are. That's man. right. You know what I'm saying? So anybody who gets, you know, their panties up in the water over a little bit of controversial talk. Right. You ain't got no business in America. Right, right. Because <laughs> that's what America runs on. That's right. Drama. Absolutely. That's right. So I think me and you were one of the special ones, man. You're able to go to be on north side of Raleigh. You're able to go to the south side of Raleigh. You're able to go to Ghana. Wherever you go, you get a lot of love, so you're one of them special ones where you can build with all different walks of life as well as me. Because a lot of people are like, oh, man, what's this? And you over here, did it? you everywhere. You on that side of town? And I'm like, yeah, man, you have to be. Um, you got to take it all in. Right, right. And you got to right, to adapt to a different environment, to different people. And you just never know. The blessings are limitless like that. You never right. know where the growth comes and it from. It makes those people less scared to interact with right. whatever you doing. You right, I mean? when right. When you come to them open arms and, you know, it just, it promotes unity through the whole community. Right. Through artists, through music, through whatever you Whatever, doing, Whatever man, you, know? you went to, right, whatever right. Whatever you went to. Right. So that's what I definitely try to do, man, give voice to all walks of life so um, we can bridge the gap because... There's been a lot going on since last time we told we had an in-depth conversation about racism and police brutality. And so since that last conversation, it kind of amplified in the country, man. There's been a lot of crazy stuff going on on the law enforcement side, on the African-American community side. And how do you feel about the Black Lives Matter movement? Is it valid? Do they have a valid um, reason why they out here marching and Absolutely screaming? Absolutely valid reason why they're... Uh, marching and I you know I hate to say screaming you know what I mean right right uh, I, I think sometimes you need to scream <laughs> right you know, you right gotta, you gotta make people hear you my my problem is I think that the initial I think that it's a very important movement and I think that the initial intention of it has been was very positive right however there's just been a huge problem with people just tagging you know whatever they feel like black lives matter putting in putting um, that low i mean that saying or that calls on calls on, it, on anything, anything right without, right you know, really you know being a part of that movement right and i think that 
that has caused a lot of frustration. And you know, you can't you can't say yes. We all know all lives matter. Right. We all know that. Okay. Right. Of but course. You know what? There is obviously been an epidemic of you know uh, racial indecency. Right. Uh, right. Particularly between the police. Right. And African American community. Right. Right. Um, Landed in a silver shuttle that melted and bubbled, flung me to a living room on by two junkies. A dog that groaned and humped me. They took turns jumping me and dumped me in a trash can. With a black man, rap dance, sang the blues, and used tone to soothe the crew to make the soul move. I got my first tooth, it was back to the junkie food. Once they heard the news of the aircraft and fumes, realized there was more to gain than there was to lose. So they put me in shoes, lied to me about what to do. Sent me to school and to learn that I'm being fooled. Seeing I'm used as a tool, I began to pull away from the dismay of the system's way. I didn't have a god to pray, but I had a lot to say with a daggone mad sad story bad and boring flat ignoring the problems no way to solve them lawyers calling and boilers and thralls heat spoiler mom's blood in your seat i barely got home in time to see be the savior save her save her save her through the labor was a coma she awoke to the aroma marijuana cigarettes percocets oxycontin constantly dropping blocking oxygen popping doxapin too late for stopping it talking shamans alarming the party about a dark leaf in the parsley a million dollar exhibit a similar scholar persistent at a sharp images reaches inches to the vintage void how can I vent this? I'm just a boy Watching everything he thought be destroyed Beaten, annoyed, he employed dangerous methods